David, it's our pleasure to have you and Recore Systems along with us. You guys have pioneered using AI on our roadways. Tell us about the company and how you use AI on America's roads. And can you talk a little bit about how artificial intelligence and machine learning play a role in these areas and contribute to Recore's success? Uh, happy to do that. You know, it's probably no surprise to anybody listening or watching that our infrastructure is not in great shape when it comes to our roadways across the U.S. In fact, it is rated as a C minus today, and it's got a number of issues as a result, whether if you're thinking back to a couple of days ago where we saw a large chunk of the I-95 roadway go down near Philadelphia and the implications of something like that on congestion, on traffic in general, on incidences, on health, on a number of different issues. And unfortunately, that's not unusual. I mean, that gets a lot of press, but this is happening every day in every state. And so it, it is a challenge. The infrastructure is in a difficult position and the government and the state and local agencies are looking to do something about that. And so where Recore comes in is for the last almost eight years, we have building out using AI to be able to understand everything that is moving on a roadway and be able to serve that data in a way that agencies and whether it's public agencies or even private companies would be able to leverage that technology to understand the movement of anything that is moving on a roadway. And with that, now they have insights. Now they have knowledge uh, about what is moving and can take better faster, smarter decisions with real-time information, with predictive analytics that were never before possible. Now, David, artificial intelligence and machine learning, both key technologies in driving innovation in the transportation industry. How does Recore leverage these technologies to provide advanced solutions in identifying federally required class count and most importantly, speed data? And so where AI comes in and where Recore really brings a strong advantage is we automate that entire process. You can imagine that states, and I'm giving an example of New Jersey. Uh, New Jersey has hundreds of thousands of data collection points that they would like to be able to collect data from the roadways and use that to uh, send it off to the Federal Highways Administration to be able to get funds back to the state. But what you see in, in New Jersey, you see a number of dots on the map. But every state in the union has this. There are literally millions of these studies being done annually, up to five, six million being done annually across the states. And that's something that is costly. It's something that takes time. In most cases, that's a construction project that creates a disruption in, on the roadways. And so where AI comes in is we actually leverage AI to bring that to the roadside through video and video analytics to be able to capture everything that's moving on the roadway and automatically and in real time be able to classification uh, speed and counts and packed it up and provided in exactly the correct format that the Federal Highways Administration needs to see that, but it's done in real time. It's done non-intrusively, it's done safely, it's done inexpensively, and it's really a game changer for how the entire market is doing classification count and speed. And we're in a unique position there to serve and bring value to those customers. Excellent. All right, so thank you for that. And building on that a little bit, could you provide some examples of Recore's artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities and specifically how they enhance traffic management solutions? How does this tech contribute to improving traffic flow and overall efficiency on the roads? We are able to source literally trillions of data points coming into our system from multiple different sources, including weather, including connected vehicle, including ways data, including work zone data, including everything and anything that could potentially create a disruption or an incident on a roadway. And we put that right in the front and center of the traffic management center so that they are equipped to have perfect situational awareness of what's going on and also be able to react and respond much faster than they normally would. And I'll, and I'll say that the traditional methods are probably along the lines of you expect. It's a phone call that's coming in from 911 to announce an incident, or they're, they're waiting for somebody in a traffic management center to watch a video screen and be able to try to find if something is happening and then respond accordingly. All of those methods are in practice today. What's different is we actually are about 20 minutes on average faster to be able to equip our traffic management centers to identify and respond to an incident and get traffic back to normal. God forbid there is some sort of a, a um, an accident or an incident that you know people are at, at risk. In that case, you need to send first responders or you might need, need to send a highway patrol or you might need to send a freeway service um, provider also to be able to 
keep that roadway clear. All of these agencies have to work together, and now they can, thanks to AI and thanks to the technology that Recore is bringing into the traffic management centers to help these agencies collaborate on a single source of truth of what's happening, and also a single pane of glass that allows them to collaborate and cooperate as they go clear the roads and keep people safe. Terrific. Now, David, lastly here, could you provide some examples of success stories or case studies where Recore's AI and ML solutions have significantly impacted the transportation industry? How is this translated into real business growth and increased revenue for Recore? You know, we today have a presence in about 40% of the U.S. states when it comes to traffic management and traffic management centers. It's a great position to be in. It's something that's hard won. It's something that we continue to grow and drive value in. When it comes to real examples and case studies, um, you know, a couple come to mind. Uh, one of our flagship customers is the state of Nevada, for example. You know, there are about 2 million people that live in Nevada, but on any given weekend, there's about 8 million people on those roadways. You can imagine the traffic management challenges that they face and the, the just the large sheer size of the problem. So our technology is there and has been grounded in there and it's expanded, frankly, into every agency that works around the traffic management center. Uh, they're using it for incident management. They're using it for freeway services. They're using it for highway patrol. They're using it for tow truck drivers. They're using it for a number of different applications just to be able to have a very clear situational awareness of what's going on. Also predictive analytics about what could go on that they could be proactive about. And people in the departments of transportation talk to other people in the departments of transportation and a successful s solution um, wins out. When you think about every one minute of a congested traffic situation creating four to nine minutes of backup delays for other drivers in that same roadway segment, the ability to resolve that is a huge deal. And it's something that we do day in and day out for our customers. So that does translate to more usage. It, it, it translates to brand reputation. It, it, it really attracts new partners to us that just continues to grow the value of what we can provide to our customers overall. Terrific. It's been an absolute pleasure learning more about Recore Systems and what exactly you guys are doing in the traffic management space and the AI and ML solutions you bring to the market. David, President and CEO, or COO, I'm rather, of Recore Systems, we really appreciate you joining us, spending the time with us here today. Thank you once again for being here. Thank you very much. Appreciate being here. Thank you.